Hey, you got my chicken! Sit down! Come back! Hey guys, the Cryptic Mario, and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 1. Where today, guys, yes, you heard it correctly, we are finally starting up Red Dead Redemption play as John Marston this time. So without further ado, let's get into it. New game. Woo! Look at these graphics! Look at that boat! Look at that boat! <laughs> okay, lots of people. Morning Star. Blackwater. Morning Star. Okay, there's. Okay. Let's see a furniture store back there. Oh, vehicles are now, like, happening. Snap. That's changes. Pinkertons? Bill Williamson's gang. Damn, my eye is so itchy, guys. It's always the right one. I have no idea why. It's allergies, bro. Why are the Pinkertons hanging out with John, bro? Ugh. I'm allergic to something, I swear. General merchandise. A rock star San Diego production. Blackwater Station. So we are in Blackwater. Where are we going though? And why are the Pinkertons with us? Are they arresting us? Red Dead Redemption. Yes, sir. Art directors, Darren Batter, George Davis. Ted Carson. For one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization hey. to this savage Hold on. land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we helped the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained <laughs> access to heaven. Okay. Sure. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. You know, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. B.S. Not only do people now have motor cars, father, but I heard that pretty soon True story. we will be able to fly. No, Shut up! This guy's so annoying. Fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Dude cannot comprehend what's coming. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor. Which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many mm. things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. 
And who let you worship in peace? Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, I ain't asking him Mrs. nothing. Armadillo. What an idiot. Show us how much he knows. Oh, we're playing. Go to the saloon. Wasn't me. Uncle, he's still with us? What's he doing with that lady, huh? It's kind of sus. You must be Whoa, but Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friend oh. from Blackwater hired me to gag you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, So Jake. then that's not uncle. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Hurry up, Jake. Discover the deadly assassin outfit. What? What does that mean? You ain't gonna find sturdier horses than these in all the new offices. Some fancy things for Spalding, but they darn well Take it easy until we're out of town. Ain't no point in causing a rope. Tell us to move your horse. Yep. Left stick. RB. Damn, look at these graphics, guys. Look at these clouds. I'm shocked. Oh, it's Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? I ain't entirely sure. I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well he ain't been friends for a long time. Wait, where are we going? I don't even know what we're doing. Actually, even a better question is, where's my you rifle? You planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve's landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> no, we're not. I don't get the joke, bro. I don't get the meme, yeah. dog. So it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? Son. I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Whoa there. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. I, I gotta agree with John on this one. It's very true. Damn coyotes! What a waste of good meat! Almost there, Mr. Marshall, just over this hill. Let's Here. go! What the heck? Castle? What's this thing? Abandoned building? Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. 
This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Who lives here? Wilson. Come out here right now. How's he been? Go away now, John. Sounds like him as well. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. I never liked Bill. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. Implores. I I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor guy. Roll credits. What the heck? Why do we have a gold revolver? That's stupid. So are we just dead now. What the heck? And there's a vulture hanging over me. Definitely dead. That's a wrap. There's the game. Is this Abigail and Jack? I mean, Jack. That can't be Jack. He's too old. Jack's probably like 15 right now or something. I don't know. She's blonde though. That's not Abigail. It can't be. New friends, old problems. Is that true? Did you guys see that? Wait, isn't that the lady from the train? She was on the train. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. Hmm. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. Oh, well, that's cheap. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss... Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. 
Just like you. Thank That's you. a song. <laughs> Just like you. you. See my hat. I have. Why is our foot wrapped? And, Did we get uh, shot in the foot. What will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Just remember, it wasn't Bill who shot us. It was one of his mates. Would have killed Bill if it wasn't for him. Bill was never a good shot. Whoa, that's some motion blur. Bonnie is the blue circle on your map. Cool. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Uh, sorry, I was talking to you. I was usually when people are talking, you stand in front of them. My bad. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Is our horse I still Rachel? Oh, she picked it out for me. Come on then, I'll show you around the property. Just stood on my horse. Ouch! Poor horse. Come on. Yeah, guys, I've been wearing this hat for a long time in content. Let's just take it off for now. Switch it up for a bit. General store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. <sighs> God damn. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Yeah, probably. Where did you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. Okay. You get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. That was a short tour. Back where we started. What are you waiting for? Come on, I don't fight. I had to put my horse back, bro. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. 
All right then. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. <clears throat> Okay. Come on, lady. Take it forever. Right. Follow me. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Something suspicious. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. I don't know, guys. Let's go. Why are we moving so slow? Come on. Them, will you? Rabbits, like legit rabbits. You gonna shoot them? Bro, what? I want to shoot rabbits. Wait, is there not a dead eye in this game? Did you see that? All right, well, old fashioned then. Wait, oh, I missed that. In a while, guys. So just, oh man, I feel horrible. I own two rabbits. I legit. Yeah, my rabbits would not approve of this. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Looks like we'll be having rabbit stew tomorrow. Damn coyotes are back. We can't afford to lose any more livestock. Kill them, Mr. Marston. Woo -hoo -hoo! I still got it. Oh my god, we're just flying through this thing! Wait! Quick! They're going after the chicken! Oh, you're hot! Nice shot! He's got my chicken! Sit down! Come back! Yo. Give me my chicken back! <laughs> Come here! Oh, I just ran him over! Wait! 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 Wait. Wait. Wait! Sit down! That coyote won't be back! Oh, really? Why is everything golden in this game? I hate that! Move! Let's go, horsey! Just jump over the fence! He's got my chicken again! Holy moly! Just jump! Jump the fence! Just jump the fence! What are you doing? Just jump the fence! What are you doing, horse? Wait, stop dancing. Come on, what's with you, bro? Time for some redemption, bro. Stop moving. Okay, I'm getting off this horse. This horse is on some drugs or something. Oh my god. Doesn't even follow me. I miss Woodland. You know what? I, what I'm gonna call this this wood this horse? I'm gonna call him Jeff. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, Miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch. That's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarlane. All right then. Here we are. Come on. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. 
Get some sleep, and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. It's gonna be a long playthrough. Why do I need to know that? Six hours later, who cares? Also, I got extra ammo at the, in the, from the trunk in your room, so I don't even have to buy ammo. Let's go. Alright, dead eye. Fame. Change outfits. Hmm. Huh. Deadly assassin. Oh, you already know we have to find that one. That is so dope. All right, I'm gonna save the game. All right, well, you guys, I think we're gonna leave it here. It was a nice introduction to the game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, click here for the official Red Dead Redemption 2 playlist if you want to watch the entire playthrough. I highly recommend it. And click here for a video that YouTube thinks you specifically will enjoy. And this is the subscribe button. You should probably click that so you get notified when I upload another video so you don't miss it, including part two. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.